uh, the, the long and short of climate change, and I have I've studied it, I've spent quite a bit of time on it, read you know a lot of materials. I'm not a PhD, uh, you know, climatologist, but I I, I understand the dynamics of it. Um, there's no evidence, none, that CO2 causes global warming. There just isn't. Mm. It's a trace gas. It's it's a fraction of it's significantly less than three percent of what's in the atmosphere. What's mm. in the atmosphere is mostly you know oxygen and, and hydrogen. Uh, little bit of krypton you get on the list and there's, yeah, there's carbon dioxide down there somewhere but it, it's tiny it does have a heat um uh kind of trapping quality to it but there's so many what they call recursive functions like this will happen but then but then that'll increase vapor vapor is actually a, a a bigger heat trap than co2 um then but there are other things that go the other way that actually cool it down mm. uh the the best evidence but but the way that like well gee jim if there's science behind what you're saying Climate change is not a threat. Um, by the way, the climate does change. Um, you know, yeah. I was, uh, you know, in in uh, the 11th century, the 10th century, the Vikings were growing grapes in Greenland. Uh, that's why they called it Greenland because they <laughs> had farms. And now wow. they're all covered with ice. Um, in the early 17th century, you know, uh, 1620, 1630, whatever, uh, actually throughout the the 17th century, the Thames was frozen in the winter. They had what they called uh, Cross fairs in London, which meant that you could go set up, set up your stores on the ice in the Thames River, and you yeah. didn't need bridges. You could walk back and forth across the frozen river. So that was called the Little Ice Age. The other period was the medieval um, uh, warming period. But the point is, climate does change, but yeah. it takes a thousand years or ten thousand years, uh, and it's not caused by CO two. The causes of it are um, sun cycles, um, volcanoes, mm. uh, ocean currents. Uh, particularly what's called subduction, where a warmer, highly saline, higher salinity water gets kind of sucked under mm. a colder body of water. And that obviously affects air temperatures. That affects the jet stream. So there are a lot of complex factors at work. In fact, it's probably the most complex system anybody, anybody can think of. That does cause climate change. It takes a long period of time. But the nonsense, and it is nonsense, that CO2 is the cause, that human CO2 is the cause, Mm. Uh, that there's anything you can do about it yeah. uh, is all is all junk science. But the problem is there's an enforcement mechanism. So take what I just said. If I were an up and coming uh, scholar at you know whatever uh, Penn State, MIT, uh, you know Stanford University, whatever, and I said what I just said, I would not mm. get tenure. I would not get published. <laughs> I would not get promoted. I'd be driven out of the uh, you know polite society. You'd be canceled, brother. You'd be so canceled. I would be canceled, right? I do say it on Twitter. I'm surprised they haven't uh, you know canceled me there. But now that Elon Musk is in charge, maybe my my odds are better. 